lesson I'm going to be discussing the five chords commonly referred to as power chords. These are used widely in rock and heavy metal and are made up of two notes as opposed to many chords that are using three notes simultaneously or more. And the first chord we're going to start with on this is called E5 and that consists of the top string, the open E, and a fifth above that, the B note, will be played on the 5th string on the 2nd fret. And when picked together, they sound like this. Now we're going to do two others that are very similar to that. We're going to simply move down a string set with our finger and our pick hand, and we're going to get A5 this time. It'll be the open A string. Fifth above that note is the E played on the second fret on the fourth string. And if we pick those two notes together, we get the A5. There's one more left here we're going to do. It's called D5, and we're going to move down another string with both hands, of course, and we're going to get the open D string this time. And the fifth above that is the A. We're going to play that on the third string on the second fret. And when played together, you get D5. Okay, now we're going to play a sequence using these chords. We're going to play quarter notes, one measure on each chord. We're going to play E5 for one measure. A5 for one measure, D5 for one measure, and then E5 for another measure. Each measure will consist of four quarter notes, or four strums, on each chord. And you can see this listed at the bottom of the screen now. Let's get ready. One, two, three, four. Let's try that a little bit faster. This is going to be at 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. So far you've learned three power chords, E5, A5, and D5. These have all been made up of open strings and one finger. Now we're going to learn another power chord known as the movable power chord because it can be shifted across the neck to any position and it will give you the 5 chord. The first example I'm going to show is the F5 and we're going to start by using the first fret on the 6th string and that is an F note and we're going to combine that with the 3rd fret on the 5th string and that is the C note. And if we combine those two together, hitting the top two strings, you get F5. Now, the fun thing about this is we can take that F5 and simply shift it over to the next group of dots, having our first finger on the G note on the sixth string, and our third finger on the D note on the fifth string. And if we combine those two with our pick, hitting both of the strings on the top, you get G5. The first finger determines that. It's on the G note. Slide up to the next group of dots, and our first finger will be on the A now. And our third finger on the E. And if we hit those two together, a5. Okay, let's take a look at the diagram at the bottom of the screen. We're going to play a progression now using the chords you've learned up to this point, and we're going to start off with E5 
and moving to F5, to G5, and then to A5, each chord for one measure playing quarter notes. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's at 80 beats per minute. Let's give this a shot using eighth notes now. One and two and three and four and... Okay, great. If you've got that going up to this point, try and do quarter notes a little faster, and then try and do eighth notes a little faster. And in the next lesson, we'll move on to a few other chords that you can use to incorporate into your playing and make this a little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching.